Hi kids, Miss D here with another edition of Steaming Along. And on today's Steaming Along, we are going to be focusing on math. So all you'll need for today are some Uno cards, your brain, and of course, some comfortable clothing. Because do you think we're going to be sitting down doing math? Absolutely not. So get your cards, get your comfy clothes, and let's get steaming. Today's steaming along focus will be on addition. Addition is when you're finding the total or sum of two or more numbers. So if I were to take one of something and another one of something, I would have two of those objects. So if I were to take one pencil and again myself another pencil, I have two pencils. So let's see if we can take our supply list and create some addition. So for today, what you're going to need is a stack of Uno or Phase 10 cards, and you want to make sure that you're only using one through five of each color. If you do not have cards, simply cut four different colors of construction paper into plain card size and label those one through five for each different color. And then of course, you're gonna need room to move because like I promised, we will be moving. So let's get adding, kids. So now that we're all set up and we've arranged our cards to have only the one through five in our decks and the four different colors, we want to make sure that we assign each color with a particular movement because like I said, and I promise, we will be moving. So for today, my yellow is going to mean hop, my green is going to mean twirl, my blue is going to mean clap, and my red is going to mean stomp. So again, we are hopping, we are twirling, and then we're clapping, and then of course, we're gonna get on the good foot and we're gonna stomp. So let's get our cards arranged. Make sure you um, make yourself a little key so you don't forget, and let's get going. Okay, so now that we have shuffled our deck, assigned our key, we are going to need a location that has uh, some space. And as you can see here, I have some space behind me. Before we begin, I wanna just make sure that we understand the rules. Since we're adding, we are gonna be using the numbers we draw from the deck. And remember, we're only drawing two at a time. And the numbers that we draw, we are gonna be adding those two together, arriving at the number, and performing the activity that's assigned to the highest card. So, as an example, if I draw a red one, and then I draw a yellow three, I will add those numbers together. So one and three is, that's right, it's four. You guys are so good. Are you sure you're not mathematicians and you're just clicking on this, you know, to make me look silly? I think you are. So one and one, and three is four. Now what we wanna do, we wanna do the action that's associated with the highest number. So our yellow meant hop. Yes, so we are going to be hopping, not three times, four times. So are we ready to hop four times? This is gonna be a workout. Let's get ready. Ready? And one, two, three and four. When I was a standing hop, can we do like a leapfrog kind of hop? Let's get down like a frog. Ready? And one, two, three, and rip. That's four. Awesome. You guys looked good. I think I looked okay. Looks kind of silly, but when you're moving, who cares how you look? Just as long as you're having fun. So we're going to start, we're going to start our game. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to take a tiny stool here and I'll put my cards on a tiny stool just in case I have younger participants. That way everybody's able to participate. So I'm going to put them here, make sure my deck is shuffled, and then I'm going to draw a few so we can get, we can get an understanding of the game. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Let's go. So I've drawn a blue four, and then, uh-oh, I've drawn a red four. So since 
both of these are the same number, I can do whichever activity I'd like to do. So I have a blue four, and then I have a red four. So four and four is eight. Yes, you guys are so good. I feel like, you know, I feel like you don't even need practice. So four and four is eight. So for this particular activity, I think I am going to, I think I'm gonna stomp four times. Should we stomp four times? Yeah, let's make some noise. All right, so I'm gonna, not, oh, I'm sorry, not stomp four times. <sighs> Miss D, no, no, no. We are gonna be stomping eight times. Are we ready? Let's do this. I'm gonna put my cards aside and we are gonna be stomping eight times. Are we ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah! You guys are good. Add a little motion to it. You see how I got my hands in there? You could do that too. You know, rock with it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's do, let's do another one. Are we ready? So now we have a yellow four and we have, <gasps> we have a green four. So again, we're tied for numbers. So again, this is going to be eight again. So let's do the action that's associated with the green four. Do you guys remember what that was? Twirling. So we are going to twirl eight times. Are we ready to twirl eight times? I know you're exhausted. We've hopped, we've stomped. Now we're gonna twirl. Let's get our twirl. Are we ready? Eight times, don't forget. Ready? And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, whoa, and seven, and eight. Whoa. Let's get our balance. So that was eight times. Parents, quick tip. If your child is having a little bit of trouble with um, doing the addition straight from their head, get some item. You can either get toothpicks, maybe some straws, or you can simply draw like tally marks on a piece of paper. So you can have a piece of paper handy while you're doing this particular activity. We wanna make sure we're encouraging encouraging the, the child as they're moving along with these particular activities. We don't wanna get them discouraged. We want them to have fun with doing addition. So let's do one more activity. Can we do one more? Can we do one more? Yeah! Let's do one more. Let's go. All right, let's get a red three and a blue two. So we have three and then we have two. Three and two is five, yes! You guys are so good. All right, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna let you guys teach the next steaming along. So this is five. So whatever we're gonna do, we are going to do the activity that's associated with exactly the red three. You guys got this. So we are gonna be stomping five more times, guys. Let's stomp this out five times to end this, ready? And one, and a two, and three, and four, and a five. Woohoo! You guys are so good. This has been Miss D with another edition of Steaming Along. And I'm gonna get on out of here. And you know how I'm gonna get out of here? I'm gonna draw myself a card. What does the wild mean? I think the wild means I need to hammer dance out of here. I'm gonna hammer dance out of here. See you guys next time. Goodbye. This has been Miss D with another edition of Steaming Along. I hope you all had fun and I hope you guys will check out some of our databases that are associated with math. Check out our Tumblebook math. You can find that in the description below. And while you're in the description below, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? More fun, more awesome library fun. This has been Miss D with Steaming Along. Have a great day and keep steaming.